I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel. No, I don't think that's Crafting with Jack. <laughs> I'll do it without a shirt on. Just oh. holding. Welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack is joining us. And um, I am so excited because I don't know about you, but I have had a blast this week doing all this really great DIY artwork. If you're just tuning in and you missed the past videos that we've done, we've been doing a DIY art piece every day this week. And then at the end, we're going to show you not only the wall of artwork that's now done, but we're gonna reveal the laundry room that we were working on this week. Yeah, it's really cool. So if you haven't yet, subscribe so that you can see all these. You can also go back and watch the last few and then go join our private, or it's not private, but go join our Facebook group, Inspired by V, because that's where on Friday we're gonna do, what are we calling it? We're calling it Live from the Laundry. Live from the Laundry. <laughs> so we'll have our cocktails, we'll be doing a Facebook Live, probably gonna pull off an Instagram Live while we're in there as well, and we'll be in there. So make sure you join both of those so you can find out about this. Yes, so, so today it's gonna, we've got two more projects to do this week, and then make sure you tune in for all of that. We don't want you to miss out on any of it. So today's project is one that's really, really fun. I'm gonna show you. I should probably show you in the beginning, but um, here we go. Um, this project is so simple. I think that this project is so much fun because so often we don't know how to bring our garden inside. We don't know how to bring nature in. And this is such a simple way of going out into your garden, into your yard, going to a neighbor, going to a friend, wherever you are, and grabbing something that's really cool and framing it and making it into art. The thing that we did differently with this is that we didn't press these flowers before we put them into the frame. And I think that that gives it a lot of dimension. Yes, cool. And what I really love is that this really, for me, combines my personal passions of that French country style with something that's a little bit modern. Because you've got something that's florally and it's botanical and it's garden feeling, but we put it into a modern frame. It keeps it from feeling too overly frou-frou-y. I think this is a really good combination. It's one that I really like. What I really love about this project is we lived abroad for 12 years, 23 different moves. And some of those we had tiny little patios, some of those we had big yards, some of those we had just courtyards with cobblestone. We didn't always have like a ton of fresh flowers of our own. Sometimes we had to go buy them yeah. or uh, steal them in the night. I mean, we'd never do no, that. No, do that. <laughs> never. Uh, but <laughs> sometimes we just didn't have a lot. And so we like these, these are from plants that we planted yeah. like two or three years ago and now we're seeing harvest off them. So for me, it's kind of cool because I'm not like, you know, Mr. Farmer guy, but I at least planted something that I've st I've stayed around long enough to actually see something come off of it. Yeah. So I think this is really cool. I think it's really cool too. And these are actually from a hydrangea bush. And I wasn't sure whether it was going to work. So I'm really, I'm really, really cool. glad that I tried this in advance. We filmed before when we did my mom's makeover. We did a fern in a fern. Ferns fern. always look amazing. Yeah, ferns They're look really good. Just easy, easy to make. Um, but we're not going to be pressing the flowers today. So we're just going to quickly go to the garden, grab a few things, and we'll show you just how easy this is to do. So let's go. Let's go to the garden. All right. No, take, are you taking sips of your coffee? Mm -hmm. oh, no, me too. So good. Lavender? And you're making lavender iced coffee. Lavender iced coffee. Oh, if you guys haven't watched the lavender latte video, it's the well sucker is gold. I love this thing. Cheers. All right, let's go to the garden. Right, let's go. <laughs> Ready? These are actually in the front yard. Quite a bit that's coming up that came back from last year. This is one of our absolute favorites that we planted last year and it's doubled in size since last year, but it looks a lot like eucalyptus. I'm excited to clip some of this and put that in a vase. I don't know how well these will hold up being pressed. I'm gonna take from the back. I think that could be pretty, don't you think? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So many, we have, we've got to figure out what these are called. <laughs> I don't have a spell. If anyone knows, put it in the comment because we can't remember what they're called. Yeah. This is what happens when Jack goes and picks something at the garden <laughs> center and I have and then takes the tag off. But I don't care because I love I surprised her with a garden, but then I can't remember what any of it is. I don't mind at all. I think they're beautiful. Let's go in the backyard. All right. Oh, 
Ooh. Look at the jasmine. Oh my God, you can smell it from here. I know, isn't it beautiful? It's like really come back this year. It never died this winter, which is awesome. I know, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so divine. All right, let's go in the back. I think we should maybe do something smaller. All right. I know you're wanting to do something that's not flowering, but look at the lavender out here. It's amazing. Ooh. Can we do the lavender? I think we should do lavender. It goes with my drink. Um, I'm trying to find one that I think will fit inside your frame. Yeah, here we go. Well, the bees are everywhere. Oh, maybe that one didn't have a bloom on it. We need to do like maybe a maybe a garden tour out here now that things are finally blooming. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's right. not just brown. I know. Let's take everybody <laughs> back inside and get this one done. All right. Come on, guys. Look at the gardenias. Everything's getting so big. So all you have to do is just literally place it in here and I might like bend mine just a little bit and then I'm going to need to cut mine in order to get that all in here, mm -hmm. um, but I want to make sure it's cut down low. Um, I don't think you're going to have to do that though, are you? No, I think, so. I think mine's good. Okay, and then what I like to do is I take that backing and press it down on there. Be careful because you definitely don't want to break the glass. You do have to be careful doing this. Then I just peek at it and oh make gosh, sure that awesome. I like what I see. What does yours look like? I see mine just moved now that I popped it up. Okay, you might wanna, you can make it to where it's not, I might take that little piece out. Yeah, there you go. It smells so good. I know, as soon as you open the frame, it's like, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay, just be careful when you press this down that you don't, you gotta press it obviously hard enough to get it to go in there. All right, how does yours look? Ooh, very pretty. That's awesome. These actually look really good sitting next to each other yeah, on the wall. Do. It's so pretty. Yay. Are you pleased? I am, I love that. Me too. Well, this was a lot of fun. I'm like so excited about I how this feel turned so out. so crafty. Let me start my own YouTube channel. No, I don't think that's crafting a Crafting with idea. Jack. <laughs> I'll do it without a shirt on. Just oh. holding a picture. Ew. <laughs> need a bigger Is that picture. Where you're gonna put the picture? <laughs> I'm gonna need a larger picture. Stop. Do they my cover up the man boobs? <laughs> I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel. Well, I'm personally really excited about that. And the fact that we actually had something that was growing and alive in our garden that we could actually cut. There's a few miracles in life. The fact that three <laughs> kids are still walking and that there's actually green plants to put in here. I know. But this one really grows well without water, which yeah. is really the key here. Because amazingly, when someone's only job is to please water the outdoor plants and he doesn't do I, it. I, I think my phone's ringing. I got, probably gotta go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it is crazy though. It is, but again, it's cool to see something that we've grown in here. Like these started off really small and as you just saw they're huge now. I know. And, it's cool. And I love that. And I love that when we were in Spain for uh, vacation one year, we met your sister and right outside of our door was a gigantic lavender plant. I know. I, and I remember think about every that day. Plant. Yeah, and it was like homely looking and beat up and it was huge. It was huge, yeah. And it was it's obviously proof that this plant <laughs> that I could grow it. Can grow with just true neglect. But this is <laughs> like Mediterranean smell to me. So I love yeah, this. Yeah, like that, that Provence Mediterranean, yeah. that arid climate. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget, hit subscribe, leave us a comment below letting us know if you've enjoyed the DIY art week so far. And if you're excited about the laundry room reveal on Friday, let us know in the comments below. And we will see you guys soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And then a picture of me, like for the drawing. Yeah, people are still waiting for the downloadable jack. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll work on that. <laughs> Maybe there's an app. There, there's quite a few that are waiting. Every on. random, like every so often, just randomly says something like silly. 